Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech Danny SPB and the Cyberia team has released the new update of Cyberia 5.4 on 22 April this is the most customizable most stable base battery life from available till the date for the OnePlus 6 so today in this video we will check all the new features were added in this new build I done some basic testing of the features like OK Google call recording camera portrait slow motion and 4K 60 fps I also done some stability and the performance test of the ROM. I got some bugs also that I discussed in the video. At the end, I have given my final verdict. Do you need to switch your current ROM or not? That's why watch the video till the end. I didn't show the installation here but you can check the last Cyberia video from the right side card. You just need the ROM zip file if you are already on the Cyberia, then flash that in a TWRP. You can also use the inbuilt OT updater, download and flash the update. So all the things like flashing has been done here. Now without wasting any time, let's get started. On a new adventure. I done the clean flash as I'm coming from the Pixel S Friends ROM. So ROM booted with the awesome boot animation of Cyberia OS. Now let's jump to the about phone section to check what's new we got here as compared to the last build. This is the same old Android 12.1 or also called as 12L version. So security patch is upgraded to 5th April 2022. Kernel is the biggest upgrade of this ROM. It's now 4.9.311 built with the Proton toolchain and it's merged with the latest SDM845 cap tags. This ROM is built on 22 April 2022. Thanks to Danny SVB and the whole Cyberia team for bringing us the awesome and up-to-date content for the Cyberia OS. Now we will see changes done as per the changelog. If you go to the settings and under the system gestures, we get the quick type gesture which were removed by the team previously. By using this, we can access the different activities like the recent panel, screenshot or any app by just double tapping on the back of the device. They implemented the new expanded volume panel for the alarm notification sounds. Instead of this, we also get the switch for the changing the volume output for the speakers and the Bluetooth devices. Sadly, there is no tap for the changing per app volume in the volume panel and the sound setting as you seen in the other ROMs like the Awaken and the Pixel Experience. We can also see some new highlight color of the volume panel only when you access the specific slider. In the last update, we have seen the Moto Audio mod, but that time there are no tunables were found in the Dolby setting. But now we get the different presets like the music, film, game, custom, etc. We can tune these settings by using the edit icon available nearby it. We can also use this tunable for the speaker sound tuning. In the last update, there is no app lock feature were found, but now it's implemented again. We get this tab under the security setting, but to use this, we need to first set the biometric or the face lock. Then you can lock any app by using this setting. ROM has the three different codecs for the Bluetooth HD sounds like the LDAC, SBC and SEC. But your device must support these codecs to use. We always see the arrow key while accessing the back gesture for the navigation gestures. But now we can add that too by using the disable back navigation gesture animation tab available under the advanced setting of the navigation gesture. They bring back the pixel charging animation when you connect the phone with the charger. So ROM has the same quick step launcher but now they brought back some missing features and added new features in the quick step launcher. Now we get the google lens, clear all and the screenshot button in the recent panel of the launcher. They brought back themes icon in the launcher. New icon tab has been added by using this we can change the icons of the ROM. They also added Google search dog tab at the bottom similar to the pixel launcher. In the quick step launcher setting, we get the new tab hide icon label setting. We also get the slider for the changing icon size and the font size. Inside the system setting of the Siberia, we get the separate tab like the show volume panel on the left to easily access the volume panel. ROM comes with the inbuilt OT updater in the system setting which has already available in the last build but I didn't discuss about that. This OT updater will notify you for the new updates. We can change some aspect of the OTA by using the three dot menu setting available at the right side of the OTA updater. In the same system tab, we get the device feature tab. In this, we get the device gesture setting, vibration control, and other slider customizations. So we'll see the device gesture here only. Other things already shown in an old video. 
by using the device gesture we can use the gestures on the aod display of the rom to access different shortcuts or the application by just drawing the gesture but it seems buggy as sometimes it works and sometimes it's not as you can see for the flashlight gesture in the video now we will see some basic feature which found buggy in the other roms rom comes with the oxynos camera inbuilt in the rom as you tested in the last video it's fully working especially 4k 60fps video recording slow motion video recording and the portrait modes for the front and the back camera both are working slow motion may be sometime cause force close but it works again chord recording is working in the rom and you can also share these files directly from the dialer but i can't find these recorded files in the file manager anywhere let's do some stability and the performance test like as an safety net check successfully got pass so no issue for the banking or the security related applications drm info still showing the security level to the l3 so we can't stream the hd content for the some application like netflix amazon prime videos etc now we'll do some performance tests using the geekbench but before that we'll check the cpu temperature because it affects the geekbench results cpu temperature was 50 degrees celsius when i done the test so we got the 472 for the single core and for multi core it is 1882 so it reflects that when the cpu temperature were higher then the low results were found due to cpu throttling when you do the geekbench test but i didn't feel any lag in the rom overall rom is smooth so let's check some bugs that i found remember they may be specific to me first one is the ok google detection is not working but we can manually access the google assistant by swiping from the left right corner of the phone if you keep the ok google tab enabled in the setting same old bug of video lag were found here again in the buttons tab of the cyber setting who gets the volume rocker wake up setting but it's still buggy not waking up the device another strange bug i got when i try to watch the yt video in the landscape mode and press the volume up down keys who get the system we are start this bug i found last time in the awaken few days back but that time it's specific to me only so let me know in the comment section that these bugs are faced by you or not as rom comes with the quick step launcher we didn't get the quick switch for the last five wallpapers recent panel picture and the web tab links but i have given the twr refreshable pixel launcher zip you can use that to bring back this android 12 features so this is all about the new update overall rom is pretty stable it has the good performance and the battery life i face some bugs but they are not deal breaking so close your eyes and choose the Siberia. It is one of the best customizable ROM till the date for the OnePlus 6. That's it guys for today. If I help you, please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.